Hi, everybody. My name is Noha Polak. I'm a pediatrician, and I've been practicing pediatrics in Union City and Bayonne, New Jersey, since 1996. And my guest today is pediatric cardiologist, cardiologist Dr. Cheryl Kamek. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Dr. Cheryl Kamek. I'm a pediatric cardiologist. I've been practicing for over 10 years. Um, I, that just means I've specialized in my training with both pediatrics, general, and cardiology. I've done specialized training for just with the heart. Um, I only take care of children from birth to about age 21 years old. Um, my training has been in um, mostly in New York, New Jersey, and in Los Angeles. And now I'm back home to my original roots, which is the New Jersey and Pennsylvania area. Awesome. Thank you for joining me today, Dr. Kamek. There's a lot of times where patients come in and the kids are complaining of their heart beating really fast or palpitations. And they'll come in with that complaint to us here at the office and we listen to them. We make sure that they're safe and stable and then we refer them to you to figure out what's going on. So can you okay. teach us a little bit about palpitations in kids? Sure. Um, in kids, palpitations are, in general, the word palpitations just mean you're feeling your heart beating. And on a normal day, you don't typically, you're not aware of your heart beating. You just go along your day and you don't know what's going on. When you feel your heart beating, that might mean that it's beating extra fast or extra strong, um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that there's a problem. Sometimes when you're running really fast, you can, you're a little bit more aware of your heartbeats. But if this is happening, if it feels like your heart is racing, like you're running, and you're just sitting still, and that, that's what we call palpitations. Um, you're aware of your heart beating in a way that's not typical for the, the amount of activity that you're doing. And so when we hear that story, we, we have to investigate to make sure the electrical activity in your heart is normal. Um, the electrical activity is just like the electricity that runs through walls. It runs through your heart as well in a different way. Um, and we have to be sure that the the system is working, running from the top to the middle to the bottom of your heart, and it's all moving in the right direction at the right pace. Gotcha. So, Dr. Kamek, how how dangerous is this, and how worried should a parent be when they come in with their child and palpitations? Well, um, palpitations alone doesn't mean that there's a dangerous problem. What we do have to know is that if the palpitations are from abnormal electrical activity. Sometimes palpitations are from normal, but just fast. Sometimes it's from abnormal electrical activity. And some of those can be dangerous, but those are very rare. So the majority will not be that dangerous type, but part of the testing what we do, we, we sort that out. We try to sort that out. What kind of testing do you offer for that? Um, usually it first involves an EKG, which is just a basic one second look at your heart rhythm. Um, and it just take, gives us a small caption, a picture. Um, if the palpitations are happening regularly enough that we can capture it, we sometimes send you home with a heart monitor. A heart monitor can monitor your heart uh, from any time from two to three days to the, those that we use in this office can monitor up to 14 days. And it looks like just a little sticker on your chest that you wear all day and it captures every single heartbeat. And then we evaluate that. You can tell the device that you're having trouble, that you feel something unusual by pushing the button on it. And it will then tell me, hey, she's or he is having trouble let's look at what that heart rhythm is. And so we correlate, we, we try to match your symptoms, your complaints to what the electrical activity is doing at that time. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you for the great information. I know that in our practice, I've sent many, many patients over the last 26 years to cardiologists for palpitations and only one of them out of the many, many thousands that 
with that diagnosis turned out to really need some help. So it is reassuring to know that most of them are pretty normal, but that we do need to check them out regardless. So Dr. Kamek, thank you so much for the great information. Everybody, Dr. Kamek has a practice here in Union City. She practices from our Union City office on Tuesdays, and we will have her contact information for you in the show notes. So please take a look at it if you're interested. Have a great day. Thanks for having me.